I'm Guillermo Rodriguez. I'm Fernando Barajas. I'm William Calderon. Chase Banton. And we're testing how different water levels affect a bottle rocket's height. Okay, so for, for our source, we went to insurables.com to look for like um, instructions, blueprints for a rocket, and we found this one. This one was similar to ours, but it was kind of designed. The design we went with was kind of more like airflow. It was going to be like air resistance, so this is just the steps of how we did it. We did it differently, though. So. so on our rocket, we decided to do three different water levels. We hypothesized that as we added more water and got to higher water levels, that it would go higher. The materials we used were two bottles, duct tape, pink paint, a tennis ball, and some cardboard. The tools used were scissors, an X-Acto knife, and some tape. first step to massing the rocket was suspending a ruler in the air and balancing it out. After that we put a weight on one side and the rocket on the other side. Then we moved the rocket and the weight around until they were evened out. The equation, distance of the rocket minus location of the meter stick equals location of meter minus location of weight times the amount of weight equals the weight of the rocket. After watching the video of our rocket launching, we noticed this odd thing. After all the water is expelled out of the rocket from the pressure, the remaining water falls out of the rocket and follows it upward, which isn't really supposed to happen. But we figured out that this is because of the inertia of the water in the rocket. So this data table shows all our data we got from the videos. The Y is a displacement. The, the V sub y is the velocity, the acceleration is a sub y, the momentum is the p sub y, the kinetic energy is the k. So on the first graph, the, it shows the displacement of the rocket over time. Second graph shows the velocity that the rocket took over time. On the third graph, it shows the acceleration over time. There's a downward slope because the over time it lost the acceleration. The fourth graph shows the momentum over time. The fifth graph shows the kinetic energy it had over time. Oh. The first graph is showing, this is for our second launch, and it's showing the displacement on the y-axis. The second graph is showing the increase in velocity, and the last one is showing the acceleration. Fourth graph is showing the momentum increasing constantly, and the fifth graph is showing the kinetic energy. This is our data table for the second launch. We have learned that the higher the water levels, the higher the rocket will go. An error that occurred was we did not have enough pressure for our higher water levels. Oh,